you guys want to find out how to make an easy and affordable Quidditch broom, keep on watching. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make this Quidditch broom. It's not necessarily based on any of the movie brooms, it's actually a design I came up with myself. I'm currently calling it the Phoenix Fire. If you'd like to see how I made the Phoenix Fire, then keep on watching. To start, I found a curvy birch walking stick at my local craft store that's approximately 65 inches long. I'm not going for a Nimbus 2000 look here, but more of an older, more natural style of broom. Right next to where I found the stick were red Asian willow branches that were perfect for making brooms. I picked up two bundles of them. Down the road at the hardware store, I picked up one 3-inch PVC pipe coupling and two 3-inch PVC conduit clamps to make up the kickstand feet holder. You're also going to need primer, gold metallic spray paint, and a sanding block. For glue, you can use any glue you prefer, but I recommend PVC glue or contact cement. Optionally, you need leather or vinyl for the handle grip. To start, I'm taking both bundles of the willow branches and splitting them in half. You can use a saw, strong scissors, or just snap them by hand. You will have to clean up the snapped edges, though. Arrange all the snapped ends towards the top and start to form a bundle. Taking the birch stick and half of the bundle pile, I start to form the bristle of the broom by arranging and tying the bundle with the stick in the middle, with nylon cording. Don't worry if the sticks move or shift, they can be reshifted around the stick after you tie them. Plus, we will be adding the rest of the willow branches later. I test the coupling right now to see if it needs more branches to fill in any gaps, and it definitely does. Before we do that, we need to complete the coupling footholder assembly. Off camera, I pre-sanded the PVC pieces to get them ready for painting and gluing and to remove any markings. To make the clamps larger to look as if they accommodate feet, I'm going to have to soften and bend them into shape. You can use a heat gun or heat the PVC over your stove, but be extremely careful, of course, and do not get the plastic too close to your heat source. After about two minutes, the PVC is already pliable and you can bend it into any shape you like. Just remember to make both of them match. Once I achieve the shape that I like, it's time to glue them to the coupling. You can drill a hole into the coupling and use the pre-existing holes in the clamps to screw the assembly together, but for flexibility and time purposes, I'm just using contact cement. Once the glue is dry, I prime and paint the assembly. After the paint has dried, it's time to add the assembly to the broom and fill in the gaps in the coupling with the rest of the branches. I start with a few at a time, but once it becomes relatively full, I can only add one branch at a time. If you do this correctly, the branches will be held in by force, and you won't even need to use glue to secure them. It will take a lot of impact to rustle the branches loose. But if you'd like more insurance if you're taking this to a convention and expect any damage to incur, you can use super glue in between the coupling and the branches as you fill it further. The final optional step is adding the hand grip. I'm using some scrap veg tan leather and wet molding it to the handle. I'm not going with any particular shape, just something that fits to the handle. I mark out holes to lace the grip to the handle and punch them out with a leather punch.
Using gold embroidery floss and a leather needle, I secure the grip to the end of the stick. Making a knot at the end of the floss, pulling through the first hole up around the leather, through the middle of the two strands of floss, creating a securing knot, then lacing to the end. At the end, make another securing knot. The last thing I did was spray paint the ends of the twigs gold to bring in more of that Phoenix vibe. This turned out to be a very Gryffindor broom, even though I'm a Ravenclaw. But you can change the colors by painting the branches, the stick, and the assembly any color you'd like. Remember to be creative. Thanks for watching, and remember to give this video a like if you enjoyed it, and subscribe for more. You can follow me on Facebook and Instagram for even more content. See you next time!